This is my documentary on go-karting. First, I'm going to show you what you need to wear while go-karting to be safe when you're doing your sport. First, we have the crash helmet. It's probably the most essential piece of kit uh, as it protects your head. And if you're in a collision, that's the most important part of you. We've got a balaclava, of course, to keep your crash helmet clean from your head. It's not essential you wear one, but it does help, means you don't have to clean out your helmet after every race. We've got gloves, which keep your hands warm and give you grip on the steering wheel. Got a neck brace. Uh, it's not essential at every go-kart track, but most do recommend you wear one. It protects your neck if you're in a crash or accident. Uh, this is a rib brace. Again, it's not essential to wear one of these at every track, um, but it will protect your ribs if you're in an accident. Of course, they're a very crucial part of your body. and. If you're going over rumble strips or curbs that are quite steep, then this will protect you from it. Of course we've got shoes, and they're thin soled so you can feel the pedals. Then we've got the race suit itself, it's one of the main items, it'll keep you warm. Hi, and I'm here with go-kart driver Elio D'Alessandro and I'm here to ask him a few questions on go-karting. So first question, how do most people start off go-karting? Uh, usually, ideally the younger you are the better, uh, but usually you start at your local kart track, whether that may be indoor, outdoor. Um, and you should just do an arrive and drive practice session at your local kart circuit and just get used to how the kart feels um, and see if you like it or not. That's the first thing you want to check first is do you like doing it and are you interested in it? Because there's no point in doing something if you're not interested. How do you get faster at go -kart? Um with practice and track time, uh, the more track time and practice you have, uh, the better you'll get. And also it's all about not just always doing it in the same conditions, always trying to do a bit of summer driving, winter driving, rain, snow, uh, extreme heat, etc. So you get used to all conditions. How does physical fitness help be faster? Uh, fitness does play a a big contribution to it. Obviously, if you let's say don't do let's say any ex form of exercise, whether that may be another sport or just going to the gym, you will find your let's say endurance throughout a race duration, whether it be 8, 10, 15 minutes long, however long it is, um, you will probably feel that it, you do get tired quickly and your arms, especially, and your neck will start to give up. Um, so it requires you to do a lot of endurance and stamina training so one thing I like to do is cycling and swimming which is quite good because it does the whole body and it's fairly low impact compared to let's say something like running um, so it's also trying to be as fit as you can and stay as healthy and strong as you can but also trying to look after your body at the same time What experience are you looking to get from a good guy? Um, well I'm a bit older now uh, probably, let's say, if you'd asked me this when I was about, I don't know, 15 years ago, yeah, I probably would say, oh yeah, I want to get into pinnacle motorsport and all that. But now, it's more just as a hobby, fun sport, and kind of like as a thing, like a free time thing. And it's something that I just enjoy more that way instead of, let's say, having a target and goal to dream. Um, but if someone, like, let's say, offered me one day, oh, we'd like you to come and drive 
um, in a race car and that I'd be happy to take it up. Um, but I'm happy with what I'm doing now, really. Uh, where are you or other drivers looking to go from go-kart? So, with the senior level karting that where we're at, it's more either you stay in that for as long as you can. Uh, usually people tend to stay in it for as long as they can until they, let's say, may not be able to afford it anymore. Or maybe if they move on with, let's say, their personal life, whether that may be with a house or family. Um, but there are people that will still be racing well into their 30s, if not in their 40s in karting. It's not just a junior sport for, let's say, to progress your way into car racing. Um, it is also classed as a sport for any ages, really. Do you aim to go into car racing, or? Uh, to be honest, it's uh, really karting is, well, it's not just because it's the cheapest. There's loads of people who spend hundreds of thousands on karting. Mm. Um, it's like anything, if you want to go and do everything and everything under the sun, yeah, you're going to have to spend hundreds of thousands to do it. Um, but with karting, it's very simple with the mechanics of it. Uh, there's not a lot, let's say, to go wrong compared to, let's say, on a car. Um, so you don't have, like, let's say, all the electronic aids. It's all very basic but simple. How does the setup of the car make you faster? Um, so whether it, it depends on what the conditions are. Uh, so obviously when it's hotter, your tyre pressures, uh, you'll probably know them as either PSI or, PSI or bar. Um, the lower that number is in the hotter weather, that's what you want to aim for, for a lower uh, tyre pressure. Obviously when it's colder and wetter, you want it higher to give you more grip and to generate more heat into the tyres. Uh, how consistent do you have to be? Uh, so if you're talking about over, the, let's say, a championship season, mm -hmm. uh, consistency is number one. It doesn't mean you have to go and win every single heat or final at every single round but it means you consistently be, let's say, in the top 10 at every meeting and in every race. Um, because you may get, let's say, you might have one meeting where you finish first in two of your races and then in your other heats you might finish last or midfield because of the DNF. Uh, so really, consistency in a championship scenario is a lot. Uh, so long as you keep a good amount of points going in, that's how you win championships. What about in a race scenario? So if it's just in a race that's, let's say, not for a championship and it's, let's say, a one-off weekend, then your heats prior to the final, because uh, your heats count to where you start in the final, uh, obviously the better your results are in the heats, the easier it's going to be in the final. It will be more towards the front. Uh, so obviously in a consistent amount of results is better. Uh, but also if you, let's say, have not so good heats and you maybe start further back, that's also quite good as well on a one-off weekend because anything can happen. Thank it's a win or much. crash scenario. Thank you. This here is qualifying. This is where the drivers try and set their fastest lap to determine where they will start on the grid. Here the drivers are forming up on the grid, ready for the race. Here's the race starting, and as the lights go out, the drivers get underway. They now race for 45 minutes. And that's the race over. Here they come across the line.